So, well, Brandon O'Shields. Brandon O'Shields, very, very intelligent and wonderful man. I uh, think very highly of Brandon. He is a good friend of mine. Uh, we do many things together. Now, actually, here we have some pictures of you and Brandon together, even um, though there's proof. Yeah. We have pictures of you. Now, here we have a picture of you two at the 2007 Trunk or Treat. We uh, decided to take a picture together, and he was a ghost, and I was, well, me. <laughs> and we uh, had a great time there. Had a great time. The kids, the kids loved me. They really did. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Um, and so here we have another picture uh, of you and, uh, and Brandon. Tell us about this picture. Well, in this picture, we actually went paintballing. Yes. And I really slaughtered Brandon with a paintball gun. <laughs> he's, really, he's really not very good. But, you know, it's a good relationship. Very good relationship. Mm. Uh, tell us about Clueless, uh, your nemesis. Yes, Clueless. <clears throat> well, she went to the University of South Carolina, and um, that has a lot to do with it. Um, she doesn't have a clue most of the time. Whenever I talk to her, she seems like she's just not all there. Uh, I think she's, uh, a lot of times, she's uh, one far less of a clue than a, than a, than a, uh, a man in a, in a red suit. I respect her as, no, I don't respect her. I really don't. Can you tell us about the time that she actually infiltrated the church and shared some bad information? and gave these horrible announcements. That's the worst, that's the worst thing you could do to me, is give bad announcements from my announce stand. She said that the youth service started on a Tuesday. A Tuesday. Who would have youth on a Tuesday? She said Tuesday morning at six. At six o'clock, it's Tuesday morning. Yeah. Nobody, nobody showed up to Bart's youth group. Nobody. And he was led there all by himself. I couldn't believe it. It was horrible. He was so sad and angry. He's a youth man. You respect him as a youth man. Well, it started in the sanctuary, and Bart was giving announcements, and he was doing a good job, but I'm an announce man. His job is youth man, and that's what he needs to keep doing. He needs to stick to his job. So, I'm an announce man, and I decided I would need to do the announcements. And so I got up there and tried to politely nudge my way to the announce stand. I nudged him just a little bit, a very friendly nudge. So, I had, so he pushed me. I think everyone saw that. Therefore, I had to punch him. I punched him hard. I hope you learned his lesson. What do you do? He won't be doing announcements anytime soon. We talk about spiritual gifts. Tell me about your spiritual gift. Well, <clears throat> have you heard the story of Samson? I have heard that story. Yes. Well, he had long hair. And if you were to cut that hair, he would lose his power. Well, my superpower, the first thing you need to know, it is through my chest hair. That no one... No one should ever cut my chest hair or I would lose my special power. No one ever cuts it. I never cut it. I don't shave my chest. Like many men these days. I don't believe in it. It's not good. It's not healthy. It's not natural. So, my special power is that I can morph. I can morph into anything. I can morph into this picture. I can morph into a carpet. I can morph into a table or anything. An animal. A monkey, a penguin, a parakeet, I mean anything, I can, I can just morph into it, just suddenly, like boom, um, the liger, a liger makes no sound, so a liger sounds like this.